how clever each of the royals are, and Princess Eugenie may no longer be top. She's met politicians and film stars, speaks French fluently, loves to color block and still rides a horse at 91 years of age, but the Queen has never sat an academic exam in her life. Not a single GCSE to her name. Despite having what the BBC describe as an aptitude for learning, the Queen didn't have time for formal schooling, having to instead learn the constitutional monarchy ropes from a young age. In contrast, her children and grandchildren have enjoyed a more normal education, and varying degrees of success to show for it. So just how well qualified are the royals? In her early childhood, the Queen was taught by a governess from 9.30 am until 11 am. Following the abdication of her uncle Edward VIII in 1938, Elizabeth needed to prepare herself for the role which awaited her. The lack of a formal education didn't harm her as she's naturally analytical and something of an autodidact, as well as being hardworking, which we know now is just as important as raw brain power. Breaking with tradition, Prince Charles was educated at Gordon's Town where he achieved five O levels, two A levels in history, B, and French, C and a two-to-two degree in history from Cambridge University. Legend has it his bodyguard who was present at all lectures with the young prince sat the exams too, and got a first. Princess Diana met with less success and failed all her levels, twice. However she apparently excelled in deportment, having attended finishing school in Switzerland. Princess Anne, the Princess Royal, attended Ben Enden School in Kent where she gained six O levels, and three A levels in English history and politics. While Prince Andrew attended Gordon's town like his older brother, his academic choices were much like Anne's, six O levels and A levels in English, history and politics. Perhaps unsurprisingly, Prince Edward also went to Gordon's town and has nine O levels, three A levels, English, history and politics, and a two to two degree in history from Cambridge. Bucking the preference for the Scottish boarding school, Princes William and Harry instead went to Eton. William got 12 GCSEs and 3 A levels in Geography, A, History of Art, A, and Biology, C, and went on to get a 2 to 1 degree in Geography from St Andrews University in Scotland. As we all know, this was where he met his wife, Catherine who graduated with a 2 to 1 in History of Art. Harry chose a different path after getting 11 GCSEs and 2 A levels. B in art and D in geography, and join the army. It's widely thought Princess Eugenie is probably the cleverest royal, in terms of grades, who's two as in a B beats at A level B told her sister Beatrice, who received an A in drama and B's in history and film studies. Beatrice went on to get a 2 to 1 from Goldsmiths in history of ideas. Eugenie studied English literature, history of arts and politics at Newcastle and graduated at the end of her three-year course in 2012 with a 2 to 1, though there are reports her application was only considered because of her royal status. However, she may have a contender for her crown. Meghan Markle received a bachelor's degree in theatre and international studies from Northwestern School of Communication. While not an Ivy League school, Northwestern is considered a prestigious and competitive university to get into and is frequently found in the U.S. top 10. In addition to her degree, Meghan studied for a term in Spain, interned at the American Embassy in Buenos Aires and is a skilled calligrapher. Only time will tell if George, Charlotte, Louis and baby Sussex have inherited any clever clogs genes.